Hi people, welcome back to the tutorial on how to hack Metasploitable 2. And today we're going to take advantage of the fact that port 3632 is open. Dist CCD is a service running on that port. Uh, let's just have a quick heads up here. Uh, what is DCC? Well, it's designed to speed up compilation by taking advantage of unused processing power on other computers. So these compilation jobs are executed by the server without verifying authorizations, therefore uh, making it open to exploitation. Therefore, a machine with DCCD installed can send code to be compiled across the network to any computer which has the DCCD daemon and a compatible compiler installed. Um, the vulnerability was first disclosed in 2002, that's how old it is, but it's still very present in modern implementation due to poor configuration of the service. Now let's get practical. First we have to confirm that port 3632 uh, it's open as you can actually see. That was an earlier scan that we run using Nmap. And that's the service, um, the DCCD service running on it and uh, this is more information about the version and so on. As always, our methodology remains the same here as we're going to use the Metasploit framework to take advantage of this service running an open port. So um, what we have to do is to open a new tab with MSF console. But before you do that, make sure that you've got the Postgres service um, up and running as you can actually state the status here is active. And then um, you open this tab and then you type in um, MSF console. And uh, this is the exploit that we're going to be using. Um, I've got it. Um, written already here, so and we can find out what the options are. And uh, this exploit doesn't appear to have a payload built into it, so we might have to configure um, um, a payload for it. So um, we can find out what show payload. Well, there's quite a few to choose from, but. Um, the one we're going to be using is the is the command Unix bind Ruby um, Ruby um, Ruby payloads. So if we set the payload to be that, okay. So now if we go back to see what the options are for our exploit. So now we've got uh, a payload and a payload built into it. Um, well, the payload is just a piece of software that it's attached and delivered by the exploit, and it lets you control the computer system after it has been exploited. So um, now that we've built in a payload in, in, in our exploit, we might have to configure the IP address of our remote machine. So um, our remote machine IP's address is, that's the Metasploit, uh, Metasploitable to vulnerable machines. So. That's that. So I think that would be it really. So we can just literally run our exploits and see what we get. Okay, so um, it, it's not as obvious as that because it's not a metaprater, but um, the exploit has enabled us to gain access to the remote uh, to the remote machine. So we can try staple commands to prove that we are indeed on the Metasploit virtual machine by using commands such as host name. You can, you can see that uh, we're indeed in a Metasploitable machine. You can look at the interface configuration. And uh, it, indeed it confirms the IP address of a Metasploitable machine. Find also who you are, really, so who am I? We are Demon. Um, it means that uh, we've got um, a very low level of privilege and um, we can carry out some vertical privilege in attempt to elevate the privilege, but that I'm afraid is beyond the scope of this tutorial. Well, I'm trying to make sure the material is accessible to people to all sorts of levels. So um, if people would like me to, um, <clears throat> to carry out some um, elevated privileges, there will be a, se a, separate, a separate tutorial um, on that. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed this episode. Um, if you have any questions, then stick it in the comments. This tutorial is done. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.